Next up on Week in Review. DeWalt says goodbye to their 40-volt Mac line. Mark Thomas risks life and limb over a rigid. And Tim yells at us again. And we're happy about it. This is your Cop Tool Week in Review. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ram. And I'm Sarah. And here's what happened this week in the world of power tools. So we start off with Brian from the Workshop Attic, who decided to show off a pair of really cool, I mean hot or whatever, heat guns. He reviews the new DeWalt 20 volt max cordless heat gun to see how it compares to the Milwaukee Compact M18 competitor. Now Brian set out to determine which one had the best features, heats up faster, gets hotter, and has a hook. Apparently the only test of the Milwaukee one was the last one, yes. having a hook. So it looks like DeWalt has another hot tool on their hands. Already? I just wanted to get it out of my system early. You can watch the whole thing at Workshop Addict on YouTube. We recently featured Austin in our Mita Maker series where he told us about his plans to continue his short form reviews on Instagram while starting to post long form tool reviews over on YouTube. He kicked off this week with an informative review of the new rear handle circular saw from Milwaukee. Austin not only put it through its paces, but he goes into great detail explaining the differences between a sidewinder versus rear handle drive, including its roots of the saw that built America, the legendary Model 77 from Skillsaw. If you'd like to watch a review and learn something at the same time, you can find him at Tools at Work on YouTube. So our buddy Mark Thomas figured we were still short at least one wet dry vac review this year and aimed to remedy that situation with the rigid cordless HD0918. Now he tested it with a typical sawdust, nails, and even a bucket of water, but then he suddenly takes a hard right onto, oh, don't do that lane and dumps a pile of wood shavings in the back of his wife's fancy minivan. Risky business, Mark. Yeah, donations can be made on Mark's GoFundMe page and the memorial will be this Tuesday. We'll put the information <laughs> below. You can watch his final video at Mark Thomas Builder on YouTube. Aw, I'm gonna miss that guy. Okay, honestly, he should have known better. Right. Anyway, on to far louder news. We take the yellow out of the Escalade headlights. You know, if I didn't tell you about the rest of that video, you'd be forgiven for assuming Tim got the yellow out by screaming at them. <laughs> But no, he's just that enthusiastic. <laughs> and Tim always brings that to these videos. So I've always assumed like his camera's got a long lens like 40 yards out and he just yells at as loud as he can. Seriously, Tim is always excited, which is why we love him. And this week he's pumped about the new headlight restoration kit from Chicago Pneumatic. He used the kit with great success on the Escalade, but at $275, you either need to be fixing headlights for a living or at least have an enormous car collection from the 90s. You can see it all in action at Shop to Reviews on YouTube. All my Fieros are from the 80s, so they probably wouldn't work. What? Mark Lowe tipped me off this week to the untimely Debatable. De death of the DeWalt 40 volt max tool platform, which naturally led me over to Stuart's place at toolguide.com. Sure enough, Stuart reported on the sudden disappearance of 40 volt tools over on DeWalt's website. For those of you unfamiliar, the 40 volt max platform was a pro landscaper system. Their batteries were oversized, including a 7.5 amp hour version with a staggering 300 watt hours of power. Now these tools were rated to work not just daily, but all day. We reached out to DeWalt who confirmed the cancellation and said, quote, DeWalt does remain committed to providing solutions for pro landscaping with a FlexVolt system. Now clearly FlexVolt has the power you need, but we can't help but wonder if that means we may see a 16 amp hour FlexVolt battery, which with the current cells would weigh nearly four and a half pounds. Yikes. But you don't need me to wildly speculate. For that, just read the comments over on Stuart's post at <laughs> toolguide.com. Oh, and DeWalt assured us that the 40 volt batteries will still be available for the next few years. Well, as a non-professional landscaper, I'm not really affected, but that's a bummer for the pros. You know, but I'm really anxious to see like what's coming out next for FlexVolt because if they're yeah. ready to cancel it now, then that means it can't be that that's far off. That's a good off. point. Sounds good. Well, speaking of pros, it's time for some actual work with Rob Robillard. Hey, Rob, Sarah, quick tip for painting. I don't do a lot of painting, but what I end up usually doing is punch list stuff, and I certainly paint on my own home. A lot of times, though, I've got to run out, uh, meet a client, meet an inspector, or I just don't want to clean the paintbrush right off the bat. So, you know, this, I've seen painters in the past, they use saran wrap, they wrap things in tin foil. I usually just uh, take my rubber glove, hold the paintbrush, take off the, the rubber glove like this, wrap it around tight, and I put it in the freezer. And it stays, uh, it doesn't freeze, I, I shouldn't say it doesn't freeze, it doesn't dry in the freezer. And then I take it out of the freezer, unwrap it, let it thaw for a few minutes and I'm good to go. I can use it again or I can paint with it. I'll see you guys next week. Take care. 
Thanks, Rob. Well, I'm so sorry about that hat, though. You know, I'm more worried about the foundation of this house, because clearly it's sinking to the left a little bit. Anyway, it is time for the Cop Tool Maker Break. This week, I found E.N. Curtis. He built a live edge coffee table, which was gorgeous, but it's the soapstone bow tie accent that really caught my attention. I love the unique look that the stone brought to his piece that was only enhanced by the pop of color that he added with the epoxy. Now, if you're looking for a fun video with a creative maker, you need to go watch E.N. Curtis on YouTube. Mark from Gunflint Designs shared a video where he recreated a project that his dad made when he was a child. Using recycled black walnut from an old ceiling fan and his X-Carve, he made two interactive boxes that when triggered, they explode, pranking the person who touched them. I mean, how cool is that? I want to do stuff with an X-Carve. Yeah, get in line. Why? Are they free? Focus, Sarah. Oh, right. Um, you can find this project and the plans to the original that his dad built and the updated version at Gunflint Designs on YouTube. And last but not least, Johnny Brook published part three of his home bar build series this week, focusing this episode on the DIY glass doors. With every video Johnny posts, all of us in the studio are salivating over the equipment that he has in his shop. It's what woodworking shop dreams are made of. Anyway, Johnny walks you through all of the fine details and techniques that he used to finish the custom doors for his home bar cabinets, and the results are stunning, which is not surprising. His work is amazing. You can find him at Crafted Workshop on YouTube. That's it for this week's Maker Break. If one of your favorite makers built something that you would like to have on the show, please email them to me at projects at coptool.com. It's time for construction news brought to you by Construction Junkie. Now, according to Construction Pro's website, a company in Chicago called Walsh Construction has implemented a system to control what functions their employees can use on their cell phones on company time. It appears that for now, their aim is to limit distractions while driving company vehicles. So far, the system has blocked an average of one text per every four miles of traveling. That's insane. How are their employees getting an average of one text every... You're just gonna... I'm gonna answer that, huh? Just don't worry about it. Real fast. Don't feel a need to. I'm not getting that. You really should. It's from you. <laughs> it's not funny. Yes, it is. So far, their employees seem to actually like the limitations and embrace the added security it offers them, and of course, everyone else on the road. If you're paranoid about giving up control of your phone to your boss. Oh, no, you don't. You can read more about it over at constructionpros.com. Next up, Sony in their desperate need to be cool. You said no more puns. I said no such thing. I said I wanted to get it out of my system early, mainly so I can make room for it later. You're the worst. Yes, ma'am. After a successful crowdfunding campaign, Sony is moving forward with the plans to release a pocket-sized air conditioner called the Rion Pocket. The device is designed to fit in the pocket of a special t-shirt near the back of your neck. Now, unlike other solutions like Makita's Stay Puff Jacket, thank you, Miss Makita, Sony's solution uses the Peltier effect, which raises and lowers temperature through electrical currents. Huh? I know. We need to get an intern in here so we can safely test this stuff from across the room. <laughs> Sony promises to ship the first batch by March of 2020. For more on these stories and all your construction industry news, visit constructionjunkie.com. Hey, none of the industry news was depressing this week. Thanks, Construction Junkie. Uh, you do realize that Shane just reports the news, he doesn't actually make it. Whatever, it's Instagram time. Here are a few of our favorite posts from this week. First, we got a note from Harry, a 14-year-old plumber in the UK. What? Don't ask. All I know is that he's posting plumbing advice and just bought a used pipe bender for 25 pounds off of eBay. Converted, that 25 pounds is exactly 13 Taco Supremes over here. So if you want to see a 14-year-old who's accomplished more than you already, you can find him at HP Plumber on Instagram. You know, at 14, I was still glued to the couch trying to beat Nintendo games before they were due back at Blockbuster. How old are you? All right, Tool Pig had a good day this week and decided to bring us along as he took delivery of a brand spanking new saw stop cabinet saw. Jerk. <laughs> Be happy for him. Make me. <laughs> April Wilkerson gave us another look at her beautiful Expo guitar and pointed out that Triton Tools posted a video featuring the first day of the dual build with Matt Cremona. And to help us all prepare for the weekend, let's relax to some woodworking ASMR provided by Two Moves Design on Instagram. That is not relaxing. I 
think it is to no. some people. I don't know. It's not. That's going to do it for us this week. Thank you for joining us again, guys. Now, next week, we have a showcase, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. So next week, we have the Milwaukee Switch Tank Showcase. I'm super excited about that. Awesome. You won't want to miss that. Also, I noticed that we had like several new people on the show this week. Yeah, we did. And that got us talking earlier. Sometimes the best content we find it comes from recommendations that you guys send us because they're people that we haven't yep. watched before or are unaware of. So this week in the comments below, we want you to point out one content creator, YouTube, Instagram, anywhere. Anywhere. That yep. makes something great that you love to watch. You think it should be on our show. Thank you, Ohio Power Tool, for sponsoring the show. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially for next week. You will not want to miss a thing. We'll see you next week.